Welcome back, everyone, to Equestria War. I'm your host, Mr. Glorious City of Matar Ferain Lover, also by Iron Captain Yorick. So, I'm mean, still Paul Wellington, but uh, thank you, Castle, for uh, drawing him. But we gotta talk about the Blizzard's Furnace. Smoke blasted against Paul's face, but <clears throat> he shook it away, never leaving the side of his guide through the factory over the past month. The Mechanites housed in Matar Ferain, or Ferain have been erecting these metal caverns to harness the forges of the future. It had been only the beginning. Plans were being carved up on squeezing the oil out of the soil up to the last drop. It pained Paul to hear the Mechanites denounce treasure traditions such as dowsing, but the results of replacements were raking in made up for the loss. But what softened his heart were his regiments being given so many rifles. Not the older ones, Kemmer Sky and the other northern griffins scrounged up. These were top of the line, a reverse engineer from the changing zone, and each soldier had top of the line kits and equipment, two grenades, magical dressings, and first aid kits. And crews served weaponry such as grenade launchers and sniper rifles. He saw his greenish recruits barely hiding the fang smiles, beholding their newfound power with a tiny push of a trigger. At the end of the day, the mechanites gifted him a custom made rifle and pistol. Before he slumbered for the night of the capital fortress, he took one last look at the window. Mater Ferrein, a light and brick house flamed in smoke. Furnaces boomed beyond the sweet crack of gunshots fired from a nearby barracks. Into modernity, kicking and screaming. So as you can see, the changes are now at war with Equestria and the Crystal Empire and, uh, I guess, Van Hoover Commune, which is fine, whatever. So we're going to be doing the Great Push West, and eventually we'll be heading to war as, oh, uh, we'll the best we possibly can against these guys, and, uh, hopefully we'll do at least okay. And finally, here is where we're at. We have changed Lingia. Uh, they took out Equestria and all those other people. And they're fighting Stalingrad, which is a perfect time for us to go to war with them too, but um, we don't have a lot of divisions. We're on Mass Assault. Um, as you can see, we finished up our Mass Assault, Mass Mobilization Doctrine. Oh, I've got some guns to go through too. We're doing construction engineering because we are literally done with our focus tree right now. We don't have enough divisions. We don't have enough equipment. We don't have enough of anything. So, like I said, uh, things should get really bad. Uh, well, there's some funky stuff we can do here. I mean, division-wise... They're not bad, but we do, we are getting pierced from uh, the enemy's anti-tank, so not ideal, I would have to say. So hopefully, most of the divisions are with Stalingrad, and they can hopefully beat them. But but Stalingrad does have two allies, two puppets, I should really say: uh, Republic of Nova Grafonia, Democratic Republic of Pingland, and so yeah, I guess they don't they don't even have a faction. Interesting. So that's what we're doing right here. Um, just trying to not lose. For the lack of any better term. And they have tanks, which we can't even pierce either. So, uh, not our deal. Not our deal. But uh, it is what it is. And yeah, we're grinding. And also, can't choose as long as the Huntress because we already have an advisor. Just like that. So, what do you have on board? Entrenchment? I don't know. Entrenchment, it's okay, it's not fantastic. And naval stuff? Sh sure. Man, they are. They're really beating the crap out of each other, aren't they? So some areas we can win, some areas we cannot, especially when they have tanks. Should have researched more anti tank <clears throat> than what I've done so far. But, oh well. Uh, Army breakthrough soft attack, heart attack. That's not bad. Attack and division speed, that's pretty good. Pretty decent overall. Just wish they couldn't pierce us. And they do have an intel advantage over us. Because their technology is not very good. So at this point, I'm going to tell you guys just to hold. Hold if you can. See what you can do. Um, that's pretty much all that you can do. Is that a supply base? It is a supply base. Uh, if they're going that direction... Go in here. You're not going to win this battle. But... If you get Hurond... Hor That'd be great, but I don't think you can. Yeah, no. They came back immediately. God dang it. So, yeah. Not great right now. Not super great. Um, casualties, we've lost what? 49,000. Delivered 200,000 casualties to them, which is... But, or maybe not. That's still only Hold on. That was... They've done 200,000. We've done 137,000, which is it's still not bad for you know a minor nation like us. It's not too shabby. Um, little force still infantry specialist, but we already have technically two of those people. Um, go with that. I don't that. Literally just defend for now because we are out of equipment. 
Gotta love it, right? I'd love to be able to take this tile. Why can't we not take this tile? Mounted terrors. That's good. Um, that makes us more stronger in the mountains. And we're actually researching all this stuff, which is good. Moral put, yes, please. Yes, a thousand times yes. Looks like they don't have enough divisions on their own line, too, which is good for us. But, uh, yeah, we are just trying our best here. I was trying to build more civvies, I guess. We could use more millies. Hmm. There's no good place to build anything here. And Stalingrad is actually doing <clears throat> relatively decently against these guys. Which is good to see. They have a decent amount of manpower on volunteer only. Interesting. They're on extensive. They have 140 divisions. They have 125. So they're almost evenly matched. That's interesting. Don't lose. You're not allowed to lose. Well, we lose a towel, we'll take a towel. That's how it works. It looks like they're out of equipment, though. Hold on. Well, we can't even tell, so. So if they're damaged, you should damage them even further. You can definitely go that way. And extra damage is good for us. Oh, yeah, look at that. Holy crap. Oh, God, that's not good. I should have researched anti tank better. Or sooner, I should have really say. But we do have a cup of coffee to keep his nest warm, though. I'm researching all this stuff, but we can't. We don't even have the like, industry for planes. <clears throat> Excuse me. There we go. Uh, artillery, better advanced artillery is good. Hi. <sighs> Do we have any arty? We have a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we've done what percentage? Twenty-four percent. That's not too bad, actually. I want to attack, but we got—we have to make more tank first. We we'll just do antax, anthrax. You guys do anything here? Modern berserkers are good. Let's see, just in case, get that anyways. Good, good, good. Help him out here too. Or you just go there. That honestly makes much more sense to do that. Now they're surrounded. And we can actually destroy help with their tank division. Computer is good. And we actually destroyed a tank division. Go us. But it looks like Stalingrad. Oh, they're losing down here though. They're pushing to the center. It's going to take a long time for us to beat these guys up. So I'll see you when they are closer to being defeated. And here's how everything ended up, everybody. Totally didn't use Khan's commands. But with the glorious city of Malter, Fierin, and uh, yeah. Um, we're looking pretty good. We took out, we actually took out Ves Vesalipolis. I can never say that word right. But we're currently do only doing As Savage As Us, which I think I read earlier. But it is what it is. Um, I can't spare the penguins, I guess. Uh, that kind of sucks. Next time, though. Um, before all of this, the bears on the other side of the Key Lake were, uh, while considered our true brethren, were seen as less sophisticated, too savage, and too barbaric. For even a breed famed for such feats, but now that we are savage as them, so got a little more compliance in some places. We got some more, a few more cores, develop rural regions, rural regions, rural regions. So that's nice overall, and our manpower is actually pretty decent overall. Manpower was not an issue, which I'm a little surprised, um, considering how much we kind of suffered here. Uh, got some trains, which was nice. Um, yeah, overall, uh, as long as Stallion Grab was doing okay, we, we did okay as well. Was it perfect? By God, no. Um, but, well, you see, compliance growth is not actually bad. We have 92% up here, which is pretty decent overall. Um, but yeah, these polar bears are quite interesting. These Panzerbjorns, now I'm lowering their armor, because these guys actually have like 0.5 armor each. 31.5 is not bad. Unfortunately, we constantly got pierced, but at the end of all this, <clears throat> we actually have enough guns. <clears throat> we literally do not have enough armor, and artillery is not good, anti-air is not good, anti-tank wasn't good, but we did take the Changeling Navy, but I think I might just end the campaign there, because we're pretty much done with this part of the focus tree. Now, I know there's quite a few other paths for the, uh, what was it, polar bear communities, which I do want to explore eventually, but it's going to take some time since I'm at the time of this recording. I'm still trying to get through an A to Z series of uh, Imperium of Mar, oh my god, 
the A to Z series and Old World Blues, which is taking forever to get through because there's just so much there. But how do you get Imperium of Mar? What the heck? That looks really cool. Um, regardless, though, I apologize for not showing you everything here, um, especially for Triptera. Actually, did Triptera, did they? Buffalo State, huh? Um, showing all the war, but it, it just it was just, just dragging out. Sort of at the end. Not, it's not the worst drag out war I've ever had, but it was, it was certainly dragging out a little bit. But hey, if you enjoy the campaign, please consider leaving a fat like arena. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know who else I should play in Equestrian War because at the time of the recording, I also have someone who wants me to play Harmonist uh, Zerantia. Eventually, I'll get there. I know I will. But thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.